Now, I want us to come back to Acts chapter five. We, we live in a world in which Christianity is morphing into church entity. Now you say, Pastor, what is church entity? Well, it's, it's many things, but it's not Christianity. One of the things about church entity is that the message is no longer Jesus, the message is the church. The, the great commission is no longer the message. The message is now, please, we want you to come to our church. Come to our church. Our church changed my life. Our church will change your life. Church entity. Now, it's all about creating an event and inviting people. Modern church entity is little to do with evangelism and everything to do with marketing. But notice how different it was in Acts. Verse 12 of Acts chapter 5. The apostles perform many miraculous signs and wonders among the people. And all the believers used to meet together in Solomon's colonnade. Notice all the believers. No one else dared join them, even though they were highly regarded by the people. No one else dared join them. Now, brothers and sisters, forgive me. I know in this modern church entity world where we talk about being seeker sensitive and we want to reach out to the world, church is not about reaching out to the world. Church is about the believers coming together and worshiping God. Church is for believers and God. Church is a vertical relationship. Believers coming together to worship God. Church services are not about evangelism, but you see, church entity does not want to go and preach the gospel. Church entity wants to invite people to a church service. The Great Commission says, you go, get them saved, and then when they get saved and they believe, then they come to church. I think we've got it mixed up today. Let's get back to the Bible ways, because honestly, this modern stuff is like mushrooms. It's here today and gone tomorrow. Thank you.